guys, what's up? It's me, Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and without further ado, let's get on with the video. So, as you can see, I have a little snowman here and up here. Not sure if you can see that. And a little bear over here that says Mary. So, now my shelves are in the Christmas spirit. And so, today I'm going to be starting uh, A Very Country Christmas by Zara Stonely, I believe. And it's on my phone, and it's just a short little novella, so hopefully I can get it finished today. And maybe start another book as well. Tomorrow is the start of Tis the Season-a-thon, so I will be reading some of my Tis the Season-a-thon TBR, hopefully starting tomorrow. And that is hosted by Heather from Bookables. And I did a TBR video showing you guys the books I plan on reading. And I will link that up above or wherever if I remember. Otherwise, it's on my channel. Go check it out. And so, yeah, I'm just going to get reading. So I'll see you guys when I read some of, some of that book. Okay, so I finished A Very Country Christmas, and I give it three stars. It was okay, and I don't know what book I'm going to start now, but I'm going to go out and probably update you guys later or tomorrow when Tis the Season-a-thon starts. Okay, so I'm home, and I'm going to be starting Sugar Rush by Aaron Nicholas, and this is only 99 pages of, like, on my phone. So probably less pages if it was a physical book. But I'm going to start reading that. I'm hoping to finish it tonight. I probably will. And I may start another book tonight, but probably not. And then I will update you guys probably tomorrow or maybe later tonight. Okay, so I finished Sugar Rush last night. I gave it four stars. It was really good. I enjoyed it. And now it is December 5th, Monday the start of Tis the season -athon. So I'm going to be starting A Virgin River Christmas by Robin Carr. This is the fourth book in the Virgin River series. And this is going to be the first book I read for Tis the season -athon. I may start another book as well, so I'm reading two at once. But right now, this is the book I'm going to start. So let's get reading. Okay, so I am now on page 173, chapter 10, and so far I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so I finished A Virgin River Christmas, and I gave it four stars. I really liked it. It was good. And so now I don't know what book I'm going to start, but I'm going to take a break from reading, because I've done a lot of reading today, but just thought I'd update you guys. So I just finished The Christmas Truce by Palmer Jones and I gave it 4.5 stars. I actually really liked it and so I read that on my phone and that also works for the prompt for a book set in December because it was set around Christmas so that works and I don't know what book I'm going to read next but I'm going to probably watch some YouTube so I'm going to do that and hopefully probably start another book tonight but today is Tuesday the 6th right? <laughs> yeah the 6th. So hopefully I might start another book tonight, otherwise I will tomorrow. Okay, so I am currently reading Christmas Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella, and this works for the A Book Set in December prompt, and I know I already read uh, Christmas Truce or whatever it was called for a set in December, but I'm going to read this one as well. This one was the one originally on my TBR for this readathon. So I'm on chapter 8, page 112. And so I read a lot of this last night during Cheyenne from That Tall Book Girl and Sam from Sam Reads a Little, their reading sprints. I read about 56 or 60 pages, and then I read the rest of it, uh, some most of it last night, and I just read the last little bit of the chapter I was on right now. So that is just my update for you guys. So today is Wednesday, December 7th. So I'm going to be doing Tis the season -thon until Friday. It actually runs until Sunday. But I'm going to be doing the festive readathon hosted by Steph from Steph Loves on Saturday and Sunday because those are the dates. Um, so I'm only going to be doing Tis the season -thon until Friday, like including Friday. So that is just a little update of what I'm reading. And I will see you guys next time, probably when I either finish this book or get quite a ways further into it. Okay, so right now, as you saw, I am on Jess from Peace Love Books, her reading sprints, along with 
Christy from Christy Reads A Lot, Tori from Novel Life, and Kaylin from The Love Librarian. I am on page 352 of Christmas Shopaholic. I have been tapping it. I went back and tapped some in the beginning. The green ones are for things I found funny, and the pink ones are for things I found really cute. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six green and two pink. And there's probably more that I missed, but those are the ones that I went back and saw or while I was reading, remembered to tab. But uh, there was probably a lot more funny things in the beginning because the beginning was quite funny, in my opinion. So I've been really enjoying this. I am almost finished. And then I have no idea what book I'm going to read next. Probably the, what's it called? An O'Brien Family Christmas by Cheryl Woods, I believe, which is the last book on my Tis the Season of Thon TBR. I may read that or I may just read a book on my phone. I haven't decided, but I'm going to get back to reading and I will update you guys when I finish this book. So I finished Christmas Shopaholic. I loved this book. I gave it five stars. Definitely recommend this. And I don't know about what book I'm going to start next, but it's probably going to be one on my phone. So probably a short little novella. So I'm going to get reading. Yesterday I read The Broke Billionaire by, I forget who it's by, but I will put a picture up here and I gave it 2.5 stars. It was definitely not a book that I would recommend. I didn't feel anything for the characters and I didn't feel a connection between them. And I just, I wasn't a huge fan of the writing style either and just, it just didn't work for me and I don't recommend this book sadly. It definitely just, it was, it wasn't terrible but it just wasn't good. So I gave it 2.5 stars and now I am not planning on reading anything for a little bit, possibly even for the entire day, but whenever I start a book or finish a book or whatever to do with the book, I will update you guys. <sighs> I am so exhausted and so hot, but I'm currently reading Fake Engagement Mistake by Lisa Renee. I'm 44% of the way through it. I'll put a picture up on the screen. And 44% 44% of the way through it, so far I'm really enjoying it. And it works for the prompt under 250 pages because I believe it's like like 100 or something. And I'm also going to start in O'Brien Family Christmas by Cheryl Woods. And this book is 248 pages, I believe. Yes, 248, which is under 250, so this works for the same prompt. And I will be starting this book as well. And hopefully it is good. So that is just a little update of what I'm reading. Okay, so I finished Fake Engagement Mistake. I gave it four stars. It was really cute. And now I'm going to start An O'Brien Family Christmas. So I finished An O'Brien Family Christmas. I really liked it. I gave it 4.5 stars. And I may start another book today, but I may not. So this may be the last clip. But, well, I'll film an outro, but... This may be it, or I may start another book. I'm thinking of starting another one on my phone, but we shall see. And so today is Tis the Season of Thon, day five. It's Friday, and this is the last day I'm going to be participating in it, because tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to be participating in the Festive Readathon hosted by Steph from Steph Loves. So, yeah, I'm probably going to start another book, but I may not, so we shall see. Okay, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Before you go, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.